if you wasn't listening to Dipset in the early 2000s in an in a accurate legend or a Mitsubishi Diamante, I don't want to hear it. I don't hear it at all. You wasn't outside. Welcome to the latest installment of the Indigo Lab. I'm your boy, Chef Radio. Here with me is, as always, is our director extraordinaire, Ken Karan. And we have Nikki Nugs on the soundtrack. Shout out DJ Omano, just because I just felt like saying that. Shout out that man. Anyways, this week, coming at you, like I said, we're doing some, some different stuff here at the Indigo Lab. So, this is gonna, we're not even gonna use the oven this time. A little bit of the grill, but we're making a salad this week. Caesar salad, one of my favorite joints to have this, to, during the summer, I don't know. My body just craves Caesar salad. I don't know what, what happens, but. What was that? <laughs> my body just craves Caesar salad during the summertime. And with the summer approaching, I'm definitely gonna show y'all how to make an infused version of that. I got some beautiful olive oil that I made. And I'm just rambling at this point. Let's get to it. First things first, like always, you try to get the hard stuff out of the way. We're gonna make our croutons first. I got some day old French bread that we cut up into cubes here. It's sat out on my counter, got crusty, crispy. We're just gonna add a little olive oil to the mix. And we're gonna season them with a little Italian spice, some salt, a little pepper, a little bit more oil on top of there. And we're just gonna pop these into the oven. I got our oven preheated at 420. Haha. <laughs> Anyways, oven's at 420. We're gonna let these go for about 15, 20 minutes. We're gonna check on them, move them around, make sure they're all nice and golden and crispy. Take them out, set them to the side, and then we'll get to the rest of the steps. So Next step we're gonna get to is grilling our proteins. Chose a classic, just chicken breast for this dish here. Um, just gonna put a little bit of olive oil on it. We're just gonna keep it simple. Salt, pepper, same Italian spice that we put on the croutons. Flip them over. Seasoned up. Now that these are nice and seasoned up. I got our grill, nice rocking hot. I'm gonna put these on the grill for about five to eight minutes. Just keep an eye on them. They go pretty quick. White meat always goes faster than dark meat when you're grilling it. Um, I'm not gonna bore you with that process, but go out here, grill these real quick come back inside and we'll get to the rest of the process. This is our beautiful infused olive oil that we made. I didn't put it in a tinted bottle, but I will when we're done with the video. I just wanted to do this for aesthetic purposes, but shout out Magical Buttermaker, man. This is beautiful. This is freaking beautiful. It's not green. It's regular, it's regular color. Green. It's about 400 milligrams in here. We're not gonna use this whole olive oil for our mix. This is just for the infusion. Um, we're making our Caesar dressing. Uh, yeah, our Caesar dressing. So starting off, two egg yolks. Ooh, see, I got the burps, man. This is gross. I'm sorry, y'all. Get those going. I don't know why I started it. <laughs> Let's get some Dijon mustard in there. Just about a tablespoon. And then we got anchovy paste. And we're gonna put about a tablespoon of that in there. I like anchovy paste. A lot of people don't fuck with it because it's funky, but 
I like funky stuff, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Next, I'm adding a couple anchovy fillets because just like I said, I like that, that flavor that the anchovy brings to the mix. Got those in there and we're gonna add in a couple of cloves of garlic with our beautiful new microplane. My, 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 my microplane. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, shit. Dumbass made me laugh. <laughs> my, 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 my mayo music. <laughs> so basically, this is a mayonnaise. So this is a salad dressing, but it, it's a mayonnaise. Once we, you know, break it down. I was asking uh, Karan if we had made a mayonnaise for you guys before and he reminded me that it wasn't that we did not that was for twitch so now we're gonna get it mixed up we're gonna let everything come together Some of this stuff from off the side. Just mix all that up real quick. Like it. So we're only going to add a half a tablespoon of our infused oil because of how strong it is. And the remainder of the oil that we're going to use is just the vegetable oil very neutral oil but you can use whatever whatever you prefer and when you're doing this you got to watch it you see when I added the oil the mixture was separated and as it as the mixture starts to mix the mixture it'll start to come together into one homogenized mixture once it comes together, I'll add another squirt of oil. But you don't want to you don't want to add it in too early. You want to wait till it's all fully mixed up. So after a couple of squirts of the oil, it's starting to come together even more. Like I said, just add it gradually. And that'll probably be the last squirt of oil that we may put in there. I may put one more. We'll just see. Turn it down a little bit. We're gonna add in a couple tablespoons of lemon juice. Fresh squeeze, not out the bottle, not out that fucking green bottle. Don't play yourself. <laughs> Don't do yourself like that. You're better than that. We're gonna add some black pepper. Lots of black pepper. <laughs> it's not a Caesar salad if you don't have black pepper, really. I got about four tablespoons in there. That should be more than enough. Last thing we're gonna add is our Parmesan cheese. I got about cup and a half of it, two cups. Freshly grated, not that shit out the green bottle. It's always a green bottle, man. Green bottle. Don't play yourself. Yeah, don't, don't play yourself. It, it essentially is. Dressing. Let's see how we're tasting. It just needs a little bit of salt. A little bit of salt? A little bit of salt and we're there. So, 
We're gonna mix this up, put a little salt in there and I'm gonna set this to the side. Put this in the fridge until we are ready to plate everything up. That's that. Assembly, assembly. Okay, now it's time to put this thing together. We got all our elements. We got our nice infused dressing. We got our chicken that's nice and grilled up. We got our romaine lettuce. We got our croutons. We got our Parmesan cheese for the topping. So we're all ready to go. Now it's time to put it all together. Put some of that beautiful Caesar dressing in there. Blast it off. Mix that up a bit. Add some more of this lettuce. I got one big giant head of lettuce, so. <laughs> Farmer's market time is rolling around, so we're gonna have some nice wild looking veggies here for y'all. The, the summer versions of the indigo lab. <laughs> Be on the lookout. Squash blossoms. Love squash blossoms. You ever had squash blossom? Nope. What? Fire. It's literally a flower that grows off of the squash plant. And you pick it off and you stuff it with cheese and bacon and wherever you want, really. Mm -hmm. Stuff it, fry it, and you have a nice little little nice little pocket and it's nice and crunchy really neutral flavor it's really good I love it oh yeah oh yeah we might have to throw some zucchinis in the garden this year I was I was kind of against it I don't know why I wasn't feeling it but I think I might might man I might just I might be Bitch, I might be. A little more dressing on top. Boom. Got our dressing in there. Finish it up, gotta to top it with a little, always need Parmesan. It's not a Caesar if you don't have Parmesan, you Parmigiano Reggiano. It's the only kind of Reggie I'll allow in my kitchen. <laughs> Clean the rim here. And there you have it. We have our infused Caesar salad. I'm naming this one after one of our, our newfound kingpins that people know about. Franklin say he's not a real kingpin, but he was based on a real kingpin, Freeway Rick Ross. But this is the Franklin say. Franklin say Caesar salad. It's real gangster, but yet responsible. We appreciate you stopping through here to the Indigo Lab each week. We got new cannabis cuisine innovations coming at you each and every time you stop through. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. We love y'all.